everyone, this is Camilla with Magnolia Transfers, and I'm going to do just a quick walkthrough on how to make a gang sheet using Canva. Now Canva, you can get it as an app um, for your phone or your tablet, um, but you can also go online over your desktop or laptop computer um, using your browser and go to canva.com. For me and for this tutorial, I'm going to use the browser because all of my graphic files are saved on my computer and it's just going to be much easier for me to walk you through this. So what you're going to do is you're going to load your browser and you go to canva.com and your screen should look something similar to this. Now when it loads, you're going to go up here to the top right and click create a design a little pop-up box is going to appear. You're going to go down here to custom size. There's going to be a plus sign, a little button right here. Click it. Now another box has appeared and it says width, height, and then you got PX, which is pixels. To make a gang sheet, we're going to work with inches instead of pixels. So just click that box, select the IN for inches and that's gonna let us work with inches. Now, before we set our size, we need to determine how big of a sheet that we need to create. Um, if you go to our website, magnoliatransfers.com, let it load. Um, right here, we're doing the gang sheets. Just click that. You can see that we do offer several different sizes, uh, 22 inch by 24, 22 by 36, and all the way up to 22 by 144 inches, which is 12 foot long. Um, the size is going to depend on how many graphics that you want to put on your sheet. So for this little walkthrough, we're going to just do a 22 by 36, that's three feet long. So I'm going to go back to Canva. Now, since I know the size that I'm wanting to use, I'm going to put in my width as 22, my height is 36, and then I'm going to click Create New Design. Once I click that, a little new browser window will open, and it's going to start loading my blank sheet. Um, this is set to the width and the height that I needed, which was 22 wide and 36 long. Now, once it's loaded, what you're going to do is you're going to need to get your graphic files. So over here on the left side, you're going to see there's templates, elements, uploads, text, audio, and so forth. You're going to click on element, I mean, I'm sorry, on uploads. And then all of your files that you have uploaded in the past will be right here. If you're new and you don't have all your graphic files on here, you're going to go up here to Upload Media, click it, and then you're going to find your graphic files. Okay, so like right here is graphic files that I have from the last Mega Cell. So let's say we're going to make um, a gang sheet and I'm wanting this image. I'll just select it, click open, and it's going to upload it to Canva and it's going to appear right here. And if you notice, these right here have that dark gray background. That means they're transparent versus these that have that white background. That means that they're not transparent. This is what you want. You want transparent images. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a big white box that prints around. So that's why we're very adamant about make sure there is a transparent background. Now that my image has loaded, and for you, you would want to go ahead and upload all the designs that you want to get printed. So let's say I'm wanting to print all of these right here. I'm going to click left click, which I hover over the image I want. I'm going to left click and hold on my mouse and drag that image over. Once I get it hovering over, I let go. Okay, so that moved that image 
to my, my workspace. The first thing that I like to do, which this one is already done, is to make sure that this teal box right here, like light blue, um, is right on the edges of my design. This empty space, which I'll show you in another one, um, it really throws off the measurements, but this one is great. So since this one is okay, I'm gonna set my size for this graphic. Let's say I want this to be an 11 inch transfer, which would be for an adult. I go on the corner, I put my mouse over the little corner spot, I left click and hold, and I drag. Now you see that there's a black box that just appeared. It says W15.4 H 12.9. That is your width and height of that image. So if I'm wanting to make this into an 11 inch, I'm going to adjust until I get that size. It's up to you if you want it to be 11 inches wide or 11 inches tall. For this design, I'm going to do 11 inches wide. So I'll just keep dragging until I get that 11 inch right there and I'll let go. Click off. So you're just going to kind of click any of this white area and it secures that right there. That It sets that um, size. Now all you're going to do is just move it into position. Make sure you stay away from the edge. If you notice when I bump that edge, there's a like a pink line that appeared on the top. That means that my graphic is right on the edge. Try to stay away just a little bit. Just, you know, so, so your image is not like cut off. Now let's say I want to make, I want two of these, right? Um, I want two 11 inches. So instead of taking it over here and dragging it back and having to do the measurements and all that, I can click this image to highlight it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose copy. I'm going to right click again and choose paste. And it just made a complete copy of that graphic. Then I'm just going to move this around and position it. Making gang sheets is honestly, it's just playing Tetris with images. That's how it goes. Um, I could put it up here, but look, if I, if I put it on here, it's getting cut off, right? But there's this button. I can, it's right below. It's like a circle. It's got arrows like spinning around in a clockwise um, manner. Put your mouse over it left click and you can turn as you're holding that that left button down you can rotate it to fit in there's a 90 degree angle and there you go it fits perfectly now now let's say that we want to go over here and we want to add some more images like this mama mommy mom bra one you're going to go, you put your mouse over it, left click and hold, drag, drop, click off the image. Now, on this one, you see there's a lot of empty space right here. And there's also empty space right here. You can crop this. We need to remove that because it's not going to give an accurate measurement. So what you can do, you can either double click the image and it kind of makes everything go gray or you highlight your image by just clicking it one time go up here to crop click it and you're going to move your border you have to do it by the corner though get as close as you can without cutting into the to the graphic just like that then double click to secure it now we can resize Let's say I want to do this one at 12 inches wide. So I will just move it and I'm watching the W in that black box until I get to 12 right there. Let go, click off, position. Now let's say over here I want to make a pocket size to match this. Instead of doing pulling over here, which you can, but it's easier since I'm really sizing down. I can just right click over that image, copy, right click, paste, move that new image, 
and then just resize it, which a pocket size is about four inches. So I'm just gonna watch my measurements, get to four, let go, click off, and there we go. We have a matching pocket size. Let's say I wanna make two of those. Same thing, click the image, right click copy, right click over the image, paste, move it in position. You'll do that with all of your designs. Your goal is to fill up your sheet with your transfers, um, you know, with these designs. You can move these, you know, <laughs> now for me, I'm very OCD about the way images are cut, like when I do my transfers. Um, I really like just the straight edges. My husband does not. He don't care, <laughs> which if you've bought from us, you'll realize that Sometimes you'll get really straight edges and then on rare occasions you don't and you will know exactly who that was that cut those. <laughs> but um, regardless of how you want, you want a gap. You don't want this image to be butted up like that because let me show you. I just zoomed in a little bit. There is no way a pair of scissors is going to go right in here. It, I mean, it's, it's just not going to go right there to cut this image from there. So you always want that little gap between your images, even if it's small. You know, you want to think maybe, like, if your mouse cursor can go through it, your pair of scissors will. So basically, you're just going to move it around, make sure everything's on your sheet, because you have this, from this edge to this edge to work from, and also from that top to the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just quickly fill up this sheet with more designs, just to show you how, once you, once you get the hang of it, it will um, it'll go fast and you can make these very quickly. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how to save this um, in a high resolution file because that's so much important you know it, this if you're working doing all this right here and then you're going to save that um your file in like low resolution it's not going to print right i don't know why i can't get it to go to 11. 11.1 11 .1 is going to be fine you don't have to be completely accurate this is this is where you determine your sizes for your transfers but um you want the um the file to be high resolution because if if it's not it's going to be grainy blurry it's just not good so we always request that you do 300 dpi um anything other than that it's it's not um you're taking a risk so let's go ahead and let's say that I've got this done, okay? Even though it is far from done because there is a lot of space. I could put more pockets here, some pockets here, or some infant or toddler designs right here. But let's say this is completely done. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go up here to the share button. You're gonna click share. You're gonna go to download. Now, right here on file type, you know, we do say, let's do PNG. Let's, let's, you know, always save in PNG. That's our preferred file type. And it is if you're using Photoshop or if you're buying from a graphic artist. If you're using Canva, Canva does not save PNG files as high resolution. I think it saves it as 96 DPI, which is very low. Looks great on screen, does not print well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click here under file type and we're going to change this from PNG to this PDF print. Click that. Everything else is going to be fine. Just leave everything else the same. And you're going to click download. With Canva, PDF print is the only option of saving your design that will save it as high resolution. We're able to um, remove the background um, actually, when we run it through Illustrator, we can um, 
keep it in high resolution and just take out that background so everything prints you know the best that it possibly could so right now if you're using canva please save as pdf print you'll thank me later um as you see right here it downloaded and that is actually all you do you'll take this file when you go back to our website you will complete here you'll choose your size which we did the 22 by 36 you're going to answer these questions there's just a series of four questions just you know making sure that your artwork is print ready which if you did the steps that I showed it is um, just acknowledging that you know our turnaround time is five to ten business days we do try to get it out quicker than that but that is our set time to give us a little wiggle room in case anything happens um, this is just acknowledging that you know that your print will arrive on a roll of transfer film instead of already being cut and that it is your responsibility to cut it apart and that this is that we will print your files just as submitted so that's why you want to make sure when you do this you're making sure that you have that gap you're making sure that everything is sized correctly because we're going to print exactly how this sheet looks and this the look you've got right here is what you're going to get once you do that you're going to either click here or you can just drag the file this file that you've downloaded you'll have to open it up in a folder by clicking and showing folder you just drag it here and it'll upload add to cart you choose how many of this file that you want so let's say I'm wanting of this thing you know this whole file right here all these designs I want five copies of it so I'll up upload that sheet one time and I choose five here add to cart check out and that's it I hope this has helped you all with knowing how to make a gang sheet you can always message me you can always post in the group asking questions I'll just hop on another video walk you through it or you know try to my best to explain it but I think doing a video will explain it better than you know typing it out but I hope you all have a great day and let me know if you have any questions bye